Right, so this is an interesting one. Um, that's our incoming electrical supply. That's the incoming cable that goes into the service head. And basically that's a two core cable. So there's a core in the middle surrounded by um, an armor. Um, so all that comes into the house, and this is the case with pretty much all new supplies, uh, most supplies actually, um, the earth conductor is in effect neutral. It um, splits at the service head between um, to give you a neutral and an earth conductor, but in effect, it's from the neutral. Um, so the incoming part of that is the pen conductor. So external to the house, that neutral is staked down to ground. So if there's a failure of the pen conductor, um, hopefully if you have loads on your installation, the things that are earth don't become live. That is one of the um, issues with this type of supply, why there's um, lots of regulations on how you use it for car charging and using the supply outside the building, blah, 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 won't go into that. So we have what's called a TNCS supply or PME. Um, and pretty much, like I say, all new supplies are this type these days. The old TNS service where the um, earth conductor coming in was a third core, kind of a thing of the past really now. So we all have to deal with this. Um, but it has its issues in terms of audio and like I say, in effect, everything that's earthed is connected to neutral, um, albeit at this point here. Um, and all your amplifiers, preamplifiers, things like that, um, where the chassis is earthed, um, nine times out of ten, the grounding for your um, cables, you know, your phono cables, that sort of thing are also um, connected to the chassis. So they are connected to the earth conductor of the house. And what I have found is that can introduce noise. So um, the mains frequency is at 50 Hertz and that can introduce a bit of noise. So as part of another project that I was doing in the house, we have battery storage and an inverter that will give us grid down power. Um, it was difficult to use the incoming earth. So I've converted our house to what's called TT. Um, so we only use the live and neutral coming into the house. We don't use the earth. So our earth conductor um, now comes from earth stakes around the house. So we've got one outside that's this cable here and I've staked the earth down in a few other places as well, um, which means we now have a high impedance earth. So we're now about 27 ohms, whereas with the PME or the TNCS earth, we were 0.17 when I did a loop test. Um, we now have to have a 100 milliamp time delay RCD as a main switch for the circuits that aren't 30 milliamp protected. Um, and that's basically to give us disconnection if there's a fault to earth. Um, yeah, so basically um, I'm just talking about the improvements this has made on the audio side of things, not the, I'm not going into the electrical side. So basically nothing um, metallic that's earthed in our house is now connected to neutral. Um, we are using true earth, the ground. Um, so what I found since doing this is if you've got your hi-fi, um, you know, not playing any audio, but it's on, sometimes you could hear a little, ever so slight hum in the background and that's disappeared. Since doing this, that's disappeared and that 50 Hertz frequency, um, was since doing this, you could tell how it interferes with the bass. Um, and then you get the harmonics of the 50 hertz which interfere and it really has cleaned things up um, yeah uh, like I say I had to do it because of uh, the backup power we have um, uh, if we have a power cut we have an inverter which makes use of the battery storage we have from the solar and uh, really that can't use the incoming earth the neutral because it could backfeed potentially and if there's linesmen working on the the power cause an issue but yeah it's uh, really cleaned things up it's quite interesting really um i thought it would have an effect but it's just made my sound systems tighter you can hear the difference
So yeah, let's have a look outside. So I have a spot down there where I can, I've got a generator that will run on LPG and we use LPG gas for our hob. So I've put a connection point there where we can plug the generator in if uh, the batteries are low and the grid's down. We do get a few power cuts around here. All right, so we come along here. So that's one of the earth electrodes that goes into the ground. Um, that's a four foot rod that goes down, gives us a really good connection to um, true earth. And our power comes overhead on that line there and our transformers just up the road. So um, yes, it's made a significant improvement. And I've also put a rod down there as well for the garage. It's all connected together, but uh, yeah, the more contact area you can get with the ground, the better that earth conductor's gonna, or earth reading's gonna be. So yeah, just a quick one, but um, it's made a difference. Catch you soon.